Protagonist Games. Hello, everyone. How are you? Welcome back to well, Oh My Goodness Games. Kai with Show Joe. We are going out with Hanako again because, do you, Tommy, do you remember? Because what, we love her. Remember what happened last time, Tommy? It was the day after Hanako's birthday, right? And you remember Hanako is now... She was left in a room, and that was the day after, and he was worried. And the Miki girl was all like, Oh, you could trust her. See? And then she came back. Now, yeah. now we're back in the Shanghai. Don't you wish Lily came back, Tommy? It was, oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's go. All right. Ready? Three, two... My pen, my pen busily crawl, scrawl, shoot, dang, damn it. My pen busily scrawls into a slowly filling page on my, of my notebook. My other hand remains on the page of a reference book I've borrowed from the library, marking my spot as my eyes flicker to and fro. As I work, I occasionally mark red circles or underlines onto the photocopied sheets of a paper that lie on the table in front of me. By the way, it's like almost 10 o'clock right now when we're recording and the air conditioning's on. I got a fan going. Man, it's summer. is hot. Person is summer. Summer solace. As of this day of it being recorded. Yeah, um, otherwise it'll be very out to yeah. Wanting a change of I was just thinking that too. <laughs> wanting a change of scenery from the library and to avoid the distractions of the classroom, I decided to make use of the Shanghai for some quiet study time. It ended up being it ended up being nice and quiet as expected, and being able to get coffee while I study is a nice bonus. Hanako may have returned to her normal self Hanako may have returned to her normal self since she came out of her room, but I've done quite the opposite. Daily routine may have returned to you. Seriously, just take that thing back out. I told you I'll put it on vibrate, but I'm still listening. Uh, daily routine may have returned to us, but I feel as if I'm a different person. Maybe I'm not. It's only been a few days, after all, since I decided to want to try and get out of the rut I found myself in after my accident. But I want to change, and I'm now actively working towards that goal. Or at least, I would like to think that I am. Ugh, this is impossible. Brute forcing isn't going to work. What's more, I have another piece of writing I have to do after this. I fear that's going to be no easier. Um. I look up in mild surprise at the source of the Tenata voice. Hey, who are you? Hey, you! You! No. Yuko stands at the head of the ta table with a damp towel in hand, clearly having taken the opportunity to clean the tables while no other partitions were around. She looks curious. Her eyes as much on my work on her her eyes as much on my work as on me. What's what's the matter? Whoopsie. I was just wondering, what sort of work are you having so much trouble with? Oh, it's just history. I'm fine with science and math, so I'm trying to get my other subjects up the par. Yuka looks. Yuko looks positively delighted at this development. I feel like I just chose the right word. What are you doing? Are you just standing up? No, I'm just gonna use the bathroom. No worries. What? Listening. You just went to the bathroom. Old man bladder, dude. I'm still listening. Dude, oh my god. I'm still listening. Yuko looks positively delighted at this development. Looks positively delighted at this development. I feel like I just chose the right answer on some big pop quiz show. You closed the door. You closed the door! Oh, I think I can help you with that. Um, if you don't mind, of course. I briefly, I briefly considered turning down the offer in order to not cause her too much trouble, but she looks too excited about this for me to do it. It would be mean to shoot her down like that, after such a reaction. If you're willing to help, I'd really appreciate it. Clasps her hands together and quickly deposits her towel on the counter before returning and taking a seat across from me. I take my notebook off the top of the textbook and hand it over to her to pursue. So, you're studying the Edo period? Yeah, I'm not really good at this, though. She 
takes the textbook and reads a few pages from a random section near the middle for a bit. But the aura of enthusiasm she's been radiating previously is rapidly sapping away. I'm guessing this isn't the kind of history you were expecting? Unfortunately not. My main area is European history, especially in the classical era. Sorry. She looks a bit downcast, but as she carefully closes the book and lays it back down on the table, her face perks up again. Tommy! I'm hearing you. Okay! It's kind of hard to tell because you have the door closed. Uh, what? You just win! Are you sick? Hold on, folks! Hey, we're back! Hey, we're back! Tommy's back from the pooty! Actually, the party I... The party you, you... We watched party. Let's not make it personal. Okay, <laughs> The party. No, Did no, because you... then they might get the wrong idea. What wrong idea? They might think I did something else in there. You know what I mean? Well, Instantly. yeah, going to the bathroom is personal. That's why we don't want to hear anything about it. That's why we just I, say... If you're wondering what it is, I'm not going to tell you, but I can tell you this. It, I was not masturbating in there. That's not what I was insinuating. <laughs> but that's what the crowd would. Remember, dude, this is YouTube. Those people are nuts. No offense, guys. You, you guys you, you guys have weird imaginations sometimes. You, you, that's all I'm saying. You guys can be weird sometimes. You're crazies. You're all crazy, and we love you for it! Okay, let's get back. Would, would you like another cup of coffee? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. I reach forward and get my book back as Yuko gets up, takes my mug, and slowly walks to the counter to make another brew. As usual, she's absolutely silent as she does this. Every once in a while, uh, although I don't have to worry about this. I don't have to worry about this. Watch this. Watch this. Wait, what happened? <laughs> I turned my phone off, too. Wait, hold on. Just in case! Well, can you tell me what just happened? The last she's getting months? another coffee. Okay. As usual, she's absolutely silent as she does this. Every ounce of her concentration is focused on not tripping over or dropping the plain white mug. I take the opportunity to lay back and relax for a bit. The hum of the coffee machine filling the otherwise quiet air. Small details like that, which makes me realize how much I've come to appreciate the little things in life. Like, oh, jeez, what the heck? I guess I drank too much coffee. The peace and quiet of the local town, the discipline and order of Imaku. I swear, he gets so stuck on this. I'm stuck on what? He's such a city boy. He gets stuck at. Tommy took out his pipe. Are you gonna light that? No. Okay, thank you. It's your room, dude. I know. Why otherwise, earth, otherwise why, I am going to point this man at you. Why on earth would I light my pipe in your room anyways? I don't know. That does sound crazy, doesn't it? In fact, what are you saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I get, what you just, I get what you just did. Ah! Oh god, I'm inflamed! Oh god! Ah! Shut up! I'm trying to... I'm okay. Come on. <laughs> what? Then pick that up, Tommy. Shh! <laughs> Oh god, dude! Oh. Dude, you can still smell the stuff off of that thing! I'm trying to get them to hear something, but you keep yelling! You're holding it up to the microphone! They're that was the whole point! You gotta let them yell They're me. going to hear that! Don't worry! Oh, sure, sure. I, was, I was making it sound like I was smoking a bomb. Yeah, it and wasn't. Then... Oh, baby. Oh. oh, dude, I'm seeing so many colors right dude, now. Dude, I can see the air. Jeez, what the heck? Put that away, please. No! Tommy! Okay. 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 The peace and quiet the local town. The history. We're so focused, aren't we, folks? Jeremy Fisher! Okay. <laughs> Let's just go to the next line. Everything feels so certain. It's comforting. Certain that I'll be re re certain that I'll be inflamed, and uh, have a lighter thrown at. Don't, do not. You're not lighting a lighter Get anymore. Get out of here, man. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Free bird. <laughs> I can feel myself beginning to nod off when the sound of the mug coming to rest on the table grabs my attention. Seems like it arrived at a moment too soon. Dear Lord, how does that thing still have a smell to it? 
Uh, dude, pipe. The, I know. It's not gonna go away. It's stuck to the pipe. Floor. Yeah, that's why people don't like smokers. The smell doesn't go away. All right. If I'm pulling it away, will you shut up? I'm just do it. I'm also playing to the camera a bit. The camera of which that does is not here in I just want to read. Well, I'm... stop distracting me. All right. Yuko takes her previous seat once again as I pick myself up and bring a hand around the mug to check its temperature. It's just a little too hot to drink right away, so I blow on it a little. It's a shame you don't like history all that much. I sort of guessed. I sort of guessed you might be more into science. Uh, how so? You've nearly read out the science fiction section of the library already. It wasn't hard to notice. You do have a good point there. Well, what can I say? You've pegged me just about right. You sound like you really take an interest in history, though, especially considering how specific you are about it. Do you study in that area or something? Go on digs overseas? She giggles nervously at the thought. I'd like to visit the Mediterranean sometime and see the old architecture and art for myself, but I don't think I can trust myself to handle such delicate things. I'm saving up to formally study, and study it in university, although I also read up on it whenever I have free time outside of work. So Miki was right about her university aspirations. Concerning how she fares as a waitress, a more theoretical path may suit Yuko better. It's nice to hear that she has some ambitions, though, considering how hard she works. I nod and take a careful sip of my coffee. By now, it's cooled to the right temperature, so I begin to drink while keeping an eye on the book below, trying to read at the same time. A few minutes pass quietly. Yuko looking out the window and watching the world go by while I have my coffee and study. When did this become about her? Where the heck is Hanako? I thought she was with us. No, actually, we're dating Yuko now. No! I don't need it! She looks too much like Ellen. Plus, we're gonna... Oh. I mean, it's kind of funky if you suddenly have a crush on some... You crush on oh. a character, oh. and it's like, oh. they look like... They look like... They look like a person I know. You know what? It's kind of weird. You're kind of right. She does look like Ellen. Yep. I'm not showing pictures. Hey, oh, Ellen. by the way, um, she's a schoolmate of ours. Yeah, she's a friend that I actually go see to movies with. It's not even a date And I never thing. see anymore. Well, hey, Tommy, you want to go see Finding Dory with hey, us? I do. Hey, you know what's interesting? Yeah. Because you mentioned her, and yeah. I was just saying we're dating Yuko now. <laughs> I did ask Ellen out on a date one time. Oh, 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 what you say? Oh, no. Wait, should we not keep this for the public? <laughs> oh, no, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, this was, don't this was at a dance I asked Stop, her out. stop. Don't worry, Ellen. You're totally not watching this, but I'm totally showing you this later. <laughs> oh, my. All right, this is when she was new to the school. We're at a dance, and I asked her out. I asked her if she wanted to be my boyfriend. Yeah. Then she said, I can't. My, my dad won't let me have one. Okay. Oh, that actually does sound like... Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. She said she won't let me go. He won't let me go if boys are older than her. I think I'm older than her or something like no. that. No. What? No, you're not. You're like the same age as me. And I think... Oh, it's one of those two things. <laughs> I think I think it was an excuse. <laughs> I think you got duped. No, <laughs> Ellen wouldn't lie. Okay. You wouldn't uh, lie to me, right, Ellen? Hey, you just lied to me. I oh! said I'm sorry! <laughs> I said I'm sorry! Uh, joke it, joke it. Should we continue? Yes. We're going to call this episode Unfocused Coffee. No, no, no. I was thinking of calling it No Offense YouTube. <laughs> well, you gotta remind me then. A moment catches my eye and I look up to see Yuko smiling and waving to someone. Oh, shoot! Here we go! I just complained about this. Following her gaze surprisingly reveals the someone to be... Who, Tommy? Who is it? Who is it, Tommy? Huh? Who's, the, she, who's she waving to? She just said she's waving at someone. Ah! She's looking at us from the side. Of the... Her usually all too, all too visible timidly is largely absent. Probably thinks there being so few people around now. Evidently, she decides to join us, as after a little wave, she gives a quick glance up and down the street and crosses the side. There she is. <laughs> oh, you know, I just realized what? we probably gotta keep it down a bit. Your parents can't text you saying what? it's too loud now. Well, because... they're not going to. It's only ten. If you say so. You're, we're fine. Yeah. I don't have parents like that. <laughs> The familiar doorbell to Shanghai rings out as Hanako enters and makes her way to the table we're sitting at. 
Hello. Good afternoon. Hi, Hana. Hi, Hanako. What's up? Nothing. Just going for a walk since the weather was nice. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. I'm glad. I'm glad I decided to study here instead of the library. It's comfortable in here thanks to that. Better, th better than the sometimes quite stuffy library. Look to Yuko, who nods in response. I'm sorry, could you repeat the last part? I get what you mean. I decided to stay, study here instead of the no, library. No, when did she start talking? How much She's time? going for a walk. The weather was nice. Okay. It's nice. Just a shame that summer can't last forever. Oh, oh wait, sorry. Um, would you like a drink? <laughs> Hanako shakes her head. Thankfully, it's enough to calm you. Go back down. How are you going with studying? Okay, ish. Oh, oh yeah. Have you talked with Lily? I'm interested too. How is she doing? She's enjoying it, I think. I think that's all. I think that's all we're gonna get out of her. Being around Yuko is tensing her up. What the heck? How are you tense on her? She's more tense than you the moment you show up to her. <laughs> you know what that means, right? What? She's definitely more intense than Yuko. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would be so nice to travel to Scotland. Green fields, castles. Don't look under the skirt, she'll be deceived. <laughs> Green fields, <laughs> castles, lovely small towns, men in kilts. Interesting. Okay, she listed that as a. She listed that as a point of well, interest. She's a girl, so. <laughs> okay, do look under oh. the skirts. I think you'll find something you'll like. <laughs> oh gee, I didn't know you could like the D. <laughs> oh wait a minute. <laughs> no, she liked the K. She liked the K. No, she likes K the K's D. The K E <laughs> the K E N G I D. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, please forgive me. Worst episode three. I can't say I see the. I can't say I see the appeal of men in kilts myself. It does seem like a picturesque place, though. No wonder you're a god. <laughs> As we talk, the jingle of the doorbell rings again. Hanako's startled, noticing Yuko's panic expression at the pro. pro at the prospect that she might leave customers to wait a handful of seconds due to her chatter with us. <laughs> Yuko gives us a quick bow and then hastily skitters over and greets the new customers, an, el an elderly man and his wife. I watch her for a bit, craning my head around to get a good view. Hanako's, Hanako's staring at me with her one visible eye. She averts her head in embarrassment as I turn to make eye contact. I was just thinking that it, that it's nice to have ambitions for the future. Yuko was telling me a little about her university aspirations before. Well... It's a shame. If she wasn't so neurotic and overworked, I think she could be a really happy person. As much as I'd like to play po host to Hanako and entertain her a bit, I do need to study as well. To be honest, I don't think the distraction from Yuko helped either. Sorry if I'm a bit distracted. I need to try and get this done. Otherwise, I'm going to flunk the history exams pretty hard. I'm left for running my hand through my hair in frustration. That letter needs doing... That letter needs doing as well. Once I get back to my dormitory room... Remember the... Remember the, uh... The... Remember the, le 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 the, the letter from the girl at the beginning of the game? Yeah? Yeah. Far. I hope I have more... I, ho I hope I have more luck with that than this. Damn... Oh, shoot! He spoke out loud by accident. What with? Oh, uh, I was gonna... Oh, uh, I was gonna write to Iwanaku. I Iwanaku. Right now, though, this is more important. All I've done is rattle myself. I can't focus on... Also, he just... I think he, he just accidentally blurted that up to her, and that's kind of a sour point for her. He just blurted out, I need to write a letter to Iwanako, and as you can remember, Kaneko has been kind of flingy at this. Who's this Iwanako? That's a girl's name, What? Huh? Uh. <laughs> Which is kind of adorable. <laughs> oh, all I've done is... Oh, she likes him! All I've done is rattle myself. 
I can't focus on the work in front of me with my when my stomach is slowly turning at the pro, pro turning at the prospect of actually attempting to write her back. And after all this time, I forced myself to concentrate on the book. Do you remember what that letter said, by the way? It was something about we need to go our separate ways. Stuff about we could go check the episode again. Okay. Picking up my pen once I have a quick sip of coffee. After a few seconds, Hanako stops silently watching me and leans back in her seat. Relaxing as much as she ever seems to be able to, looking out the window to pass the time. So we stay like this for a long time before leaving the dormitories together. Leaving for the dormitories together. I'm surprised she had the patience to wait me out. Iwanaka's letter lies on the desk beside a blank sheet of lined paper in an unused envelope. Tapping my pen is the only thing to be heard this late at night. As I feared... As I feared, my second task for the day turns out to be just as difficult as the first, not harder. It's been, so, it's been so many months since we saw each other, and so I can still remember what she looked like, what she sounded like, and what she acted like. By now, though, the little details are beginning to slip away. When I first saw her litter, I barely recognized her handwriting at all. Even the pink pen she always used was, was forgotten until her writing reminded me of it. I wonder why she didn't use. I wonder why she didn't use it for the letter. She used to write everything with it. Maybe, th maybe th think. Maybe she thinks it's too immature now. I, be sh I should be thinking about myself and about what I want to communicate to her. My mind can't stop concentrating on her, on her though. In the past, we shared. And on the past, we shared before was taken away so suddenly. The bright and sil silent. The, s the bright and slightly garish decoration suit her sense of aesthetic. Picking up the letter to take a closer look at it, I give a long sigh. This is the last link binding me to my past. Iwanako didn't suddenly cease to exist when she left my hospital room for the last time, but I need this letter to remind me of that. I had all those, I had all those feelings neatly filed away. I felt as if I didn't need them, that I could just begin life completely anew. It was easier that way. In the end, I suppose that was a rather na naive thing to think. Sooner or later, my past would have caught up with me one way or the other. But what am I supposed to say to her? Thank you for bringing me... Thank you for bringing me closure? All the letter did was end the sense of closure I'd previously felt. Try as my might. What's closure? Closure is the end. Like, the book end... The book on that part ends. Closure. There's nothing tying you to something anymore. All right. If you want to switch that fan over to me, please. I think I'm about to... Creak! Can you feel it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Try as I might, I can't, I can't write so much as a single word down on the paper in front of me. I can't even think of what exactly I want to say. What you want to say? You just... Putting the letter. Uh, here's a little spoiler alert, alert, Tommy. If I remember correctly, he does not write a letter back in this route. There's only one route where when he. This is the cool thing I liked about this game. Every route has this letter. This letter shows up in every route. To show like a little. That's a There's little. Only one route. Right? Stop leaning over. <laughs> just, Sorry. just, just. There's only one route where he. Um, there's only one route where he actually gets the confidence to, like, write a response back. Yeah. It's Rin's route. I know that. Putting the letter down on top of the blank sheet, I gather the materials together and file them away in my drawer. The clunk of the desk makes it... The clunk of the desk makes it... Makes as it closes me momentarily... Te okay. The clunk of the desk makes... Make... The clunk the desk makes as it closes makes me momentarily tense in frustration before, before I get up to go grab a drink from the vending machine on the first floor. I tried. I, oh man, this is getting a little... Uh, I tried, but I couldn't do it. After all the time that's passed, I don't still don't know how to deal with Iwanako. Well, that's that's not good at all. That's another day. There's another day. No, no. Huh. I'm trying to think what we should do. Keep going. Keep going? Yeah. Alright, if I think I know what's about to happen... Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll trust this. 
The library, while not humming with activity, is noticeably more busy than usual. Exams are not far away, and that's reflected in the number of students burying their noses in textbooks at the tables around us. I've been studying quite a lot in the past few days, just like them, just like them, and hoping of doing well in, the, well in the exams. This also means that Iwanaku and I have been playing game. This also means that Hanako and I have been playing games less. So she's been getting studying as well, just to fill in the time. Nevertheless, I found myself forsaken by her in this particular day. The textbook in front of me has, rem has remained in the same page for some time. There's so much reading on subjects I couldn't care less about if not for the exams. My mind is beginning to wander. I find my eyes flicking over to where Hanako would usually be. Just like on the days she wasn't in class. The usual beanbag in the corner of the room is cons conspicuously co unoccupied. Conspicuous. Conspicuous. <laughs> it's, it's a, hmm, interesting. That's what, like, conspicuous. It's interesting. It's mm, quite, quite a quite a thing. I I don't know. I don't know. I'm Watson then, dude. Watson is Sherlock's sidekick. No, I'm Watson. You're Sherlock. No, you have the pipe. You're Sherlock. Uh, okay. It was here that we first really met. I tried to start a conversation with her. She got skittish. Wait, and a who's Moriarty? Uh, Moriarty is actually a bad guy. No. Uh, Oh, I, no, I, yes. No, no. He's a no. rival. He, rival, but later on in the series, I I just uh, someone told me in the newer series of Sherlock Holmes, Moriarty is a female, and they become lovers. He, um, yeah, that's I, that's probably that whatever that TV show. I'm going by the Robert Downey Jr. movie that I saw. Ah. In the sequel, he was a big dude with the with the cool beard, and he was like a tubby guy, but he was like the super perfect rival to him. I'm an arrival, but who plays yeah. arrival? <gasps> Game Grumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a bad joke. Okay, uh, let's continue. It was here that we finally. All right, he's contemplating the fact that he met Hanako in this library. I probably should. I probably shouldn't smile about it, but it was kind of amusing in hindsight. Nowadays, it's more and more difficult to imagine. Okay, I'm opening this door. I hope you don't. I hope you don't hear that air conditioner. <laughs> Why you open the door? Because I'm getting a little stuffy here, so I'm letting some cold air in. Oh, uh, I thought it was my pipe. I, I probably shouldn't out. smile about it, but it's kind of amusing. Of course, well, you did light a lighter in this room. <laughs> a lighter? There's a little bit of fire. A lighter doesn't have a scent. Nowadays, it's more and more difficult to imagine her doing such a thing. Even, even with Lily gone, she's been doing well now that she's come out of her room. I want to talk to her. Or at least play another game of chess. I'm tired of studying. It's been a few days since we've really done anything together. The question of where to find Hanako is in a particularly difficult... <gasps> I think I know what's coming up! Okay. If she's not in the library, chances are she's either in the tea room or some some peace and quiet. Or in the tea room for some peace and quiet or in a dormitory room. Deciding to check them in that order, I pack up my books and make my way out of the library. Nope. I stretch and give a loud groan as I walk down the hard. What are you doing? What are you doing? Tommy! What? Why are you doing lighting that thing? What are you doing? Oh my god, relax. You are worrying me so much. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Uh -huh. I'm a pearl, pearl expert. <laughs> Studying may be frustrating at times, but with the progress I felt I've made, is there, there's also some sense of pride in getting it done. And it's a good feeling. All right, I know what's about to happen. I know what's about to happen. Wait, can we... There, there isn't a... So can you go back to, please? Okay, he's stretching. Uh, studying is frustrating, but with the progress I've made, there's also some sense of pride. He's going to Hanako's room to find her. He's like, okay, I've done enough studying. I'll go ah, okay. see her. Let's go. Because do remember, he's taking Lily's advice, or you took Lily's advice, and he's now... He's not focusing too much on Hanako and just doing his studying. He's looking for his... He's looking into his future, right? right. Yeah. Like Lily kind of asked, please look into your own future, not worry about her future. Right. Let her worry about her future. There isn't a sound to be heard from inside as I stand in front of the door to Hanako's room. I guess that isn't very indicative of whether she's inside or not, given how usually quiet she is. Still, she wasn't in the tea room. I try lightly. I try knocking lightly to make my presence known, but 
I'm surprised when I find the door unlocked and yielding it, yielding at my touch. With a small creak, the door opens. Looks like my suspicions are correct. Hana goes indeed here. She's sitting at the table with an open book in front of her, but pays no heed as she keeps looking out the window. She looks, she looks utterly oblivious to my presence. With her head's thoughtfully resting on her hand, she looks calm. She looks calm and collected. It's a shame she can't look like this more often. Oh shoot! Oh crud! I know! Oh crud! That's the. It's not. It's not that scene. That's not coming up, Tommy. That's a little. That's a little farther ahead. But. I figured that. An intimate moment is about to happen. Not that oh. kind. Not that kind of intimate. But some kiss. No. No. Dang it! Smiling. Smiling a little. I walk up to the table and saw table and softly speak to her. Good evening. Good evening, Hanako. Hanako's head turns a little to see me, but she's still only half there. I put a hand on the table and lower my head to better look at her face. I'm really curious about what mood she's in. What's up? Oh, she's blushing. <laughs> look at that. Are you ready? What's up? Boop. <laughs> gasped a little, finally acknowledging my presence in the room for the first time. Hanako's blushing, Hanako's blushing really heavily. Her mouth is open a little, as if paused mid-sentence. Most striking, though, is what she's doing. Oh, God! I hate that! <laughs> oh, should this be the thumbnail? <laughs> should this be the thumbnail? There's another image coming up that I think should be the... But I want this to be the thumbnail. Just, just her face, just the entire thing. <laughs> Alright. She's looking she's looking directly at me. Her eyes are pinned on my own. From such a close distance I can almost see the reflection in them. I don't see it. Uh they don't turn a, they don't turn away or move at all. They're absolutely still just looking into mine. They're dark and given almost an analytical air. Even when reading on subjects she has no interest in. She would appear to be apt in her work to a casual observer. Wait, okay, I'm getting lost in there. She absorbs the information very well, and even now, I can feel that. I can feel that I'm seeing something behind those eyes that I've never saw before. I don't know what it is, though. Hanako? Her lips move a little, silently melting something. She looks like she's on the verge of saying something, but won't say it. But that's the way Hanako always is. On the verge of saying something, but never quite doing it. As I look intently into her eyes, I realize something. Everyone has their own thoughts, things they want to say, their own worldview. But I can't. But I can't work out what Hanako wants to say, and I can't work out what she's thinking. I've never been able to. It's frustrating. It feels like I don't know her at all, despite all the time we spent together. He so. It's only now I find myself blushing. I've been looking directly into Hanako's eyes from such a short distance with absolutely no regard for her. She's been looking into mine without shr shrinking away. I quickly look away without covering my face. Quick I quickly look away while covering my face with my hand. Hanako does the same. Another awkward silence reigns. I hate this. At first I accepted them as just being a fact of life around Hanako. But now all they feel like is an aff affirmation of how little we're able to communicate. Some anger makes its way into the complex mixture of emotions I'm experiencing right now. I want to bridge that gap between us. Friends shouldn't have to tiptoe around each other like this. I speak before I can argue myself about what I'm going to do. My scarring, it, my, my scarring isn't as bad as Hanako's. And I can't, comp and I can't possibly compare my life to hers. I want to show her that she's not alone. Doing this in such a blunt manner might be the only way to get my point across. Hanako, I want to show you something. She takes a deep breath to prepare my... I take a deep breath to prepare myself. This could backfire badly, but I feel as if... But I feel as if they've come... We've come close enough for this to be okay. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna strip naked or anything weird. I'm just gonna take off my shirt. <laughs> she jumped like that. Hanako's eyes grow in Hanako's eyes grow the size of saucers. Her face is an amusing mixture of curiosity and nervousness as she stands. 
helps it helps take the edge off my own nervousness at doing this in front of another person. Slowly, with my entire bodily feeling intense, I unknot. Okay, okay, there we go. I unknot my tie and begin to lose lose the first. I begin to loose the first of the buttons. I'm trying to mentally block out Hanukkah to make this easier, but it's really not working. As I work my way down, do, do you get what he's about to do? He's going to show him the scar he has on his chest. Yes. Okay. I'm not stupid. Okay. As I work my way down, I expect to hear... No one said you worked. <laughs> I expect to hear some form of protest for her. She remains silent, though, which makes this feel even stranger. Oh, shoot! She's not protesting, Tommy. She ain't protesting. I think she likes the sight going on. Oh. Can we be more mature? With the... What? <laughs> With the, la the last of my shirt unbuttoned, I take a breath and look at her. Hanako's, Hanako's gaze is fixed on my scarring as expected. And once I nod to say it's okay, she steps forwardly and tentatively places her hand on the vertical line running, my, running down my chest. <laughs> scarring on her hand, a pattern of damaged skin across its surface contrast with a single uniform line that makes up mind her hand isn't trembling on her hand isn't trembling at all unlike what I predicted this is the, the scar from my surgery that followed my heart attack the surgeons had to cut open my chest and operate on my heart I, I never know Monica's words are calmer and softer than usual Soft feelings of her fingers moving from my scar to my breast makes me hesitate a little before continuing on. You're the you're the first person to see this since I left the hospital. Well, wait. But why are you showing this to me? I wanted to prove myself that I could do this, that I could accept my past and move on. I wanted to show show that to you as well. She nods, and from her reaction, she seems to know how difficult this is for me. More than anything, this scar represents a visible reminder of my condition. A reminder that I'm not normal anymore. That's no one's normal, pal. That, that's something that, until now, I had to try my... Heck, you want to know my little life, my little life word I came up with? What? In my experience, most normal people are freaks. Cause they ain't got nothing going for them. If if that kind if you can kind of follow the logic. I there. get what you're saying. That's that's something that until now had tried my hardest to ignore. As the minutes tick by, Hanako's gaze lingers. Her eyes look less focused on my scarring than before. The situation feels a bit different than it previously did, and it makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. Her hand retreats, and I draw my shirt closed and begin to button it up. Her blushing face suddenly turns to its typical tense and timid state as she looks away. The room is completely silent as I fix my shirt and tie, feeling put off after such an unexpectedly intimate moment. So, I guess you're not the only one that's scarred. Hanako smiles a little at the joke. Oh, wait, hold on, let me read that. So... I guess you're not the only one that's scarred. Hanako smiles at that little joke, thankfully light lightening the atmosphere a bit. Thank you. Thank you, Isao. I think I understand. I give a slow I give a long sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> Not a sigh of relief. It sounds like a dying pain to bear. Oh, oh, God! I really don't know how. I really didn't know how she'd take it, but I'm glad seeing every. I'm glad everything seems to have worked out as I hoped. Hanako's smile only proves that further. I'm finding the path I want to follow now. I'm finding the path I want to follow now, and Hanako needs to do this to find her own. It's something I can't help her with, and. It's something that she needs to overcome her past in order to do. Hanako checks her watch. It's getting late by by now. Isao, um... Yeah, I'd better get going. 
I'll be thankful for, I'd be thankful for some sleep. It's been a long day after all. Good night, Hanako. Good night. I make my way out of her room. Your eyes are closed. Your eyes are closed. I know, okay. I, know. I make my way out of her room into the hallway, remaining silent as I do so. I think both of us have gone through a few emotions today. Okay! Dun, ba, dun, dun. I think we should leave it off there, Tommy. What do you say? Okay, we can do next episode. Well, uh, maybe. We'll see you next time, folks, on Intimate Moments on Oh My Goodness Games. Man, I probably worded that. I probably read that terribly. No emotion. No nothing. I'm off. Bye. I'm jumping off this building. Bye, everybody. <laughs> I was trying to tell you to say, right?